All right, guys, what's going on? Ebb Friday, Sound Nation Entertainment. Um, today we're going to be creating some trap hi-hats and reason. Um, I've got a lot of requests for this tutorial, so I finally got the time to um, get around to doing it. So without further ado, let's get to it. What I do to get my trap hi-hats is, um, now I'm sure there's a lot of other ways to do it, but I'm going to show you guys how I get it done. Okay, so what I do is I create two uh, reed drums. One for my kick, claps, snares, and whatever instruments that you got. And then I create another one with just my hi-hats. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I want to be able to chop it up and place it certain places where I can get that fast and slow um roll or what you want to call it um how you create a redrum is you go to create and you go create redrum computer okay um now i'm going to play the drum pattern that i got pretty simple all right so now we're going to add the hi-hats Okay, so I'm going to go down to my uh, hi-hats and I'm going to just, first step is you're going to want to plug it in to every other one. Okay, and you're going to make sure you're turned up to 64. So let's go ahead and just plug in every other one. Other one. Like so. Okay, so let's play it. All right, cool. Now I want to have a little. I want to have some couple rolls in there. Give it a. Give it more life. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna make sure my hi hats are selected. I'm gonna right click on the module anywhere, and I'm gonna go copy pattern to track. Okay, so now. We have our first pattern copied to the sequencer. You know what I'm saying? Which is this. Okay. So now, um, now what you want to do is you want to, um, you want to disable this because if you don't, the redrum is going to be playing at the same time as this is going to be playing at the same time. So you just want to disable that by clicking this button. Okay, so now we just have our hi-hats playing in the sequencer where you want it to be. Okay, so now um, I want to have a little roll. Okay, so what you, how you want to do that is here are all your patterns from 1 to 8. You're going to go to pattern 2 and you have a whole new slate. You know what I'm saying? You have a whole new slate to work with. So what you want to do now is you're going to enable um, pattern selection again because you're now on pattern 2 whereas pattern 1 you had your uh, you know your regular running hi-hats gonna go to pattern 2 and in order to get that roll is I'm gonna turn it to 132 so let's see what that does let's just try it out okay that sounds good okay bring it from one to nine okay so now that we have it from one to nine um i want to bring it into the sequencer where i can chop it up and place it to where i want it to be so remember pattern two and you're gonna these are your time signatures so i'm just gonna switch it to 132 plug it in and i'm gonna right click and copy pattern the track when you do that um reason is automatically gonna put it on a new track so you can um, chop it up and do whatever. And always remember to disable your pattern selection. Okay, so now we're going to go over here. Let's open this up. And we're going to work on this a little bit. Okay, so here are your regular running hi-hats and here are your 132. You're going to click the razor blade. And we're just going to, let's find out where we want this to go at. So let's see. 
one we're gonna change it to 116 let's see okay so that sounds good right there so I'm just gonna cut that cut that out delete that let's have it every other one it was and actually being as all of these are the same thing we can just put that to the side and just use this right here just close it in a little bit uh, let's zoom in let's see what we got so and you want to you want to copy this by holding um control on windows and dragon and you copy it let's see what we got oh. let's put it right here I'll try it right here And you just copy it, place it to where you think it's going to sound good. I'm just guessing. Okay. So now that you have from one to five, we can just select them all. Hold control, drag, and right here. Should be where we at. Let's see. Okay, so now we have a. Um, we're just gonna work from one to five now. So this is basically how it's done. Now, if you want to add another type, if you want to add a slower type of roll, maybe to the end of four bars. Um, you're going to go back to your module, redrum, and change it to pattern three. You know what I'm saying? And enable, re enable the redrum. And let's change it to 116T. So let's see what, let's try it and see what this sounds like. See what that is. Yeah. Okay, so now let's copy this. Maybe copy this to the sequencer and maybe put it in right before five. So right click, copy pattern the track, and this is gonna be maybe at four. Let's see what that's in. And don't forget, um let's zoom in a little bit. Wherever you place a Hyatt, um, make sure the one that you're not using is out of there because they're just going to clash. So take that out of there. This one, I'm going to take the bottom ones out. Take the bottom ones out. There. And get your razor. Take these out. And delete that. Now, let's see what this sounds like. It should sound good. Let's see. Whoop. Don't forget to disable your redrum. And start that over. Uh. 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 And there you go. So you hope you guys get the idea of it. There's so many other things you can do. You can switch it fast, switch it slow, keep switching it, or just leave it regular or leave it simple like I do. Um, I hope I helped you guys with this. Um, any questions, leave me a comment. Um, also remember to subscribe, uh, like the video, share it. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.